I want to be back in the ring in July. In July, I want Parker. That's what I want. I want Parker in July. Why not? He don't have an opponent right now. We can go wherever. Let's unify this division. This is the perfect time, man. This is God's planning, man. This don't happen for no reason. This is going to be our third time talking about fighting Parker. It's supposed to happen. Let's make it happen. He don't have an opponent. I'm fresh. All the other guys, they're busy. They done either fought or got fights coming up. And now you've got the fucking WBC champion, one of the most prestigious, well-known, the ruler of belts, available, ready to unify and add to all the rest of the belts. It's easy. Man, let's make this. The heavyweight division is so exciting. Let's keep it that way. You've got Joshua and Klitschko fighting in, in July. Let's have a Wilder Parker unification as well too. It makes so much sense, man. I want to get, I want to go get Parker. You know, Parker ain't got no opponent right now. I'm fresh, I'm ready. And what would be better than me and Parker fighting for the unification? And after that, you have another unification, winner takes all at the end of the year. Then in 2018, you start with a fresh year, nothing but mandatories, just bam. It's exciting nowadays. The heavyweight division is getting exciting. And if things go as I plan, like it's supposed to be, you're going to see a whole other atmosphere in the heavyweight division. It can definitely happen. That's for sure. My people have been on it day and night. So basically, I think it's just going to be up to Parker's side agreeing to do the fight. We can renegotiate and make this fight even bigger. It will be way bigger than this Fury fight and stuff going on, man. We should have known Fury would pull out. It runs in the family for them. They've got a history of backing out of fights. And that is definitely not professional. And that's just not good for boxing, man. I mean, this is the heavyweight division. We already were coming out of a dark place. We finally got light. Don't take it back. Don't go backwards when we're moving so freshly forward. So with that, I want to move it even more forward. I want to give the fans what they want and they want a unification. They want one champion and I'm trying to make that happen. So here I am, Joseph Parker. Those are the words of WBC heavyweight world champion Deontay Wilder calling out Joseph Parker, the WBO heavyweight world champion in no uncertain terms, saying that he wants to fight the guy in July. Let's make it happen. Well, Parker has now got a replacement opponent for Huey Fury. So you would imagine that July unification with Deontay Wilder would be unlikely at this point. If he hadn't gone through with this particular fight against Kajanu, then maybe the unification with Wilder would be realistic. Now, some of you are probably saying, hang on, hasn't Wilder got a mandatory against Berman Stavern he has to take care of? Yes, he does. But there is the possibility... <clears throat> if there was a unification, that he could put the Stavern mandatory on hold, pay him some step-aside money, and fight Joseph Parker instead. The WBC do have a history of allowing their fighters to engage in mandatories, rather, sorry, engage in unifications, and allow the uh, mandatory fighter to take a back step. The WBC do do that. So, it could be a possibility. Um, let me know what you think of it, people. Are you disappointed that Parker didn't take Wilder's offer up? Or do you understand why Parker's going ahead doing what he's doing? Do you think Wilder's offer is genuine? I personally think that Wilder sees something in Joseph Parker. He sees some type of weakness that he thinks he can exploit. That's my personal belief. I think Wilder really does want Parker in the ring. Wilder was never as vocal about fighting Vladimir Klitschko, for example, or several other heavyweights as he was about fighting Joseph Parker. He seems to see something in Parker that he believes he can exploit. So anyway, people, drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about everything Deontay Wilder was quoted as saying in this video. All right, it's Hatman, I'm out.